the weak-minded, pathetic, sad people, who I really feel sorry for, who are shucked in by John McCain and Sarah Palin and Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Do not associate me with your false paradigm, with your hologram you're living in, with the matrix you're living in. Get that straight. I'm not sucked into mindless football games that don't matter at the end of the day to my family and my future and this species. And I'm not sucked into these staged elections. Now, have we had a legitimate two-party system previously? You could say, to a certain extent, before Kennedy was killed in 63, yes. Were there special interests? Were there robber barons? Did they try to buy off both parties? Yes. Did we have other legitimate third parties that became one of the big two parties and replaced other parties in our history? Yes. But since the 1960s and the assassination of Kennedy, we had the shadow government, which was officially set up in 47, but they took over full operation of the United States. In 1963, they set up voter news services to steal the votes and put out fake election results at the state and federal level. And that's been done ever since. And I have done hundreds of radio shows, had hundreds of eyewitnesses and guests and congressional record on that. And remember, back when, uh, you know, back 10 years ago, they had polls where only about 8, 9% of the American people, you can pull these up, believe that there was systemic election fraud, not voter fraud. That's always there. That's badly coordinated and low level and can't influence things on a national scale, certainly regional. You've got local fat cats stealing elections at the election level fraud, not the retail voter fraud. And that's small compared to a unified, concerted system of fraud at the top. Now, I remember 10 years ago getting up on air and telling you that most elections were staged and stolen, catching the county clerk stealing the election. The state board admitted she falsified safety seals, broke safety seals, falsified signatures, double-counted ballot boxes, stuffed ballot boxes, and they said it was an accident. We had eyewitnesses that saw her doing it, multiple eyewitnesses that worked for the county. Some people lost their jobs over coming to me with this. I didn't just go on air and accuse Dennis de Dubois of stealing the election. You think I want to get sued? You think I like to lie? Think I like to stick my neck out there? No, I went public. I went to the commissioner's court in the state, and I challenged that election, and it came out. She stole that sucker. Stealing all sorts of races in there. For Karen Sunlightner and others, county commissioners. So don't tell me there isn't fraud. I've caught people being paid out cash money in the legislature. And that's been front page of the paper. And people have gotten in trouble with the Ethics Commission over it. Every time I go down to the Capitol, I catch them doing something. They're a pack of crooks. They get up on TV and violate state laws that are felonies and vote for each other and triple and quadruple, in some cases on camera, eight different votes. They, in front of news cameras, will sit there jumping all over, voting over and over again, punching buttons of different congressmen, different legislators in the state of Texas. That could go on. You know what? I'm already digressing. The corruption is out of control. We have a group of criminals that run the government. They tax you. They regulate you to take the money and invest it in their own offshore bank accounts, in their own investments. Your pension money, all of it, they've taken it and they've invested it in their own private operations. It's openly corrupt. The CIA in 47 set up the Chicago 1313 system to take 60 plus percent of the tax money and invest it in offshore corporations for themselves. It's been totally corrupt since 47. That's when they completely took over. And they've been dissolving the state power and local power ever since, knowing that could be a back door to defeat them. Now they're bringing us under NORTHCOM control. So let me explain something about this election. The people that put sodium fluoride in your water, the people that put mercury in your vaccines, the people that get up on TV and lie to you and tell you it's the law, you've got to take vaccines when there is no law. The people dissolving our borders, the same people that staged the terror attacks, 
the same people that are putting in the Pentagon surveillance grid over the American people. They run things, not George Bush, not Barack Obama, not John McCain. Instead, every time I criticize McCain on the website, we're being equal here, showing them. People post, you evil liberal communist, uh, you Barack Obama supporter. Every time we post a story of the puppet, we always point that out. Barack Obama for carbon taxes, regulating your life, shutting down farms and ranches, youth brigades, spy forces domestically. Hellish stuff, historically. Bad as it gets. Both of them proposing it. There's comment after comment going, this is a John McCain site. This is a... No, we've been the last few weeks going after Obama more because he's the apparent heir. He's the new emperor, the new titular head, the new front man, the new Caesar. He's got all the money and all the media behind him. So, of course, so I had to deal with eight years of Bill Clinton being called a right-wing Nazi fascist. And now, George Bush gets in office, I've enjoyed seven and three-quarters years being called a hardcore Al-Qaeda. Yes, I've been called Al-Qaeda. I've had national publications say that I was probably secretly trained in Afghanistan and crap like that. I've never even been there, never been to Central Asia. The point is, now I've been called an Al-Qaeda commie. When the two, of course, are an oxymoron. But the point is, now we get to be called fascist again. When Barack Obama is for the banker takeover bills, the empowerment, the looting for trillions of dollars, he's gotten four times the Goldman Sachs money of John McCain, three times the Wall Street money. And I hear people that are Barack Obama supporters on TV, on radio, saying, oh, all the big money's for McCain, lying. Now, it isn't that I'm saying either or matters. The point I'm making is, is that they lie within those control paradigms to, to, to prop up their candidate. People fix their own mental view. They ignore the facts just because they can associate their personal power, their identity, like they do with a certain brand of pickup truck or a certain brand of soft drink or beer. Lone Star, it's a Texas thing. You know, They have all these little brand things. They sell you on it. And you watch with Barack Obama. There will be no repeal of Patriot Act 1 or 2. There will be no repeal of the John Warner Defense Authorization Act. There will be no repeal of the overthrow of Posse Comitatus to put military on the streets. There will be no end to warrantless spying on the American people and the spy satellites being used against the American people by local police now under federal control. There will be no reform in the direction the American people want, less government, less regulation, less control. It will be more of what the central banks, the social engineers, and architects want, taking our money and giving it to offshore corporations. And what little is left here is used to regulate and control our lives where we can only get government jobs or jobs funded by government contracts. You know, every show I go on and every TV show I watch, it's the same thing. The American people want something done. They want to see something done by Congress. They want to, you know, they want to see more bailouts. They want to see more funding for government. No, they don't. In every poll, even the quote mainline liberals hate the banker bailout, hate the open borders, hate the war. Conservatives and liberals are together on almost every issue. It's the Republican and Democratic parties that ignore the will of the people and. It just so happens the will of the people happens to be what the Constitution and Bill of Rights states. This is common sense. But they hammer that in over and over and over and over again on TV. We've got to have everybody come to the center. The center means the globalist agenda. We've got to, we've got to have both parties work together. The Republicans are going to be out of the executive, the House, and the Senate. And the Supreme Court justices generally vote with the, quote, controlled left. So you are going to see carbon taxes, you are, and that's going to affect your paycheck, your, the, your job, your factory, everything that uses electricity or natural gas or coal or gasoline, oil. They open 
openly state in all